Hello everybody, <clears throat> time for a new shave. Today I'm gonna to use this bad boy. Before I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna show you some stuff here. I'm telling you what I'm use when I use a straight razor for the first time. If it's an old vintage or it's a new boy, new boy, new born, <laughs> sorry, wrong, I mean, a new uh, bought uh, straight racer. Um, if I borrowed my straight racer, someone, and when I get these straight racers back home, I clean them, of course, uh, in water and so on, and dry them really dry. And then I use this product here in Sweden. I don't know if it's so popular here, but it's a, it's a disinfection des, desinfection desinfections um, liquid. It's alcohol based. I think it's 45% alcohol or something like that. It kills germs and so on. So I'm using this, as you can see, there's uh, uh, one labels and so on. I use this product and um, I grizzle it over the straight razors and the uh, de razors and whatever it is. But I think this is so clumsy to use. I'm just gonna put it there. <coughs> so I bought two nice medical bottles like this. Uh, put the liquid in there instead. So this is a, uh, I don't know what called pipette in Sweden. You squeeze it and you get amount of alcohol there and then you just squeeze it and you can um, just squeeze it in the sink here. So I can uh, um, actually put a fair amount of alcohol on there. Just a moment I'm going to call the dogs to shut up. Just, uh, I hope the dogs are quiet now. There was another dog, uh, a couple of dogs walking outside the window and they just start to uh, bark like hell. Um, so I'm using this bottle to, if I want to spare a fair amount of alcohol, uh, this is my medicine, I must say, but liquid on my uh, razor, straight and so on. I got another here with the pump, squeeze it like that, then you get the amount of, it's not on my eyes. I have just done it to this razor too, but I'm not going to show you. I'm going to squeeze this on this razor and let it dry. As you can see, there is this liquid all over the place. And uh, yeah, we'll let it dry for a minute or two. So I'm going to put this outside, take away these bottles. They are in the way. I thought it would look really fancy. <laughs> Looks like some old medicine bottles. Yeah. <coughs> so you don't have to be worried about this corona thing and so on. <laughs> Just wanted to show you what I do. <coughs> yeah, when I got this uh, beautiful uh, Coronai straight uh, Chevette shave razor in this nice box, I got even, uh, put the box to that, I got some darker blades. Never use these blades. Uh, when I unfold them, there is double paper, wax paper in it, like that. And the first thing I opened it, I noticed something really funny. 19, you can see here, 1955. <laughs> Is these blades so old? No, of course they are not, but maybe it's, uh, they started to do these in 1955, I don't know. The inner wrap looks like this, so it's double wet. I don't know anything about why it should be double weapon, but when it's always people who want to show them, oh, these are double weapon papers and they are wrong. I don't, I'm like, I no clue. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I put it uh, in that Kurunai um, uh, Chevette. I'm gonna use signature soap today. Uh, thought I could use this of the Shea Balm. Uh, I haven't used this for a while now, and I think it will match that uh, soap. Really good. There is not so much scent in the soap in that way. Um, and I'm gonna finish uh, after that with this uh, uh, John Bogaltier, uh, Galtier, I don't know how you pronounce that uh, perfume or eau de toilette, whatever you call it. it. Smells really nice. My wife likes it very much. And the brush, I'm gonna start to load this. The pack looks like this. It's very soft soap, it's a cream almost. I'm gonna use this this way. The Simog, Simog uh, Taksugo brush, Badger. Oh, Boar, so, not Badger, sorry. It's a Badger brush. 
really small, nice, fits in the top really nice. And just swirl it around a little bit, and I think this is a creamy thing, not very soft, so I think we have enough right there. I hope so at least. If not, I'm gonna go back to the pack. And if I can, I try to take these small shots from the tub. Just smear it on my face. I had two days ago. It's uh, <clears throat> the last video I did was with the straight razor two days ago. And if you haven't seen it, go watch it. Got a lot of fun reactions. <laughs> Yeah, always start pasting these uh, these soaps or creams. Yeah, this Curanai straight razor. Straight, why do I say always this straight razor? I said wrong on the video yesterday. Oh, it's a D razor. Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. I can't speak English, so <laughs> I do my best and hope you understand what I say. Now this um, this badass beautiful Chevette is a snipe from someone. I have, think I have figured out who it is. Um, think it's a Swede or an Englishman. Some of those two bastards. <laughs> really nice guys. Both of both of them, you know. Um, but the real hero in this story is Harry Wong, the sender of this. I don't know any Harry Wong. Look at this picture. Just take, just take a look at this picture and see. Uh, I'm not kidding you. I'm telling the truth about Harry Wong. I had just uh, blackened the. Uh, phone number because I don't know what that phone number goes to but just take a pick at this take a look at this picture and you will see that I'm not kidding it's to Harry Wong friend from Harry Wong to me but Linholm you can see my name in the right corner and you can see Harry Wong on the I'm gonna zoom it into you okay take a nice peek Yeah, <laughs> that was Harry Wong's. He sent me this. I'm just gonna rinse it and wipe it a little bit because I sprayed alcohol on it. <coughs> yeah, this couldn't I. Uh, sorry, I had some hair there. Uh, Chevette looks like this. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, Chevette. When I started to wet shaving, I was thinking of buying a Feather DX, I think they call it DS, SS, or DX, something like that. It looks like this with this type of handle and so on. I think it's a DX, I don't know. But it was so expensive, so I wouldn't, couldn't buy it at that moment. And then I started to use straight razors more and more. So this is, have been in my mind all the time. I won't have a similar uh, shirt. And now, this Harry Wong has sent me one. <laughs> uh, you see in the backside here, it's a groove here. You take this um, backside and squeeze it. I'm gonna do it like this instead. And when you squeeze that, this opens up and you put the blade in there. You can even put this lead aside and put the blade and slide it back. But I did it like that. I pinch it, put the blade on and shake it and boop, it suddenly went. It feels like it's settled right. Okay, let's start. I'm not going to talk so much uh, about this razor anymore. I have never used this razor before. I don't know the angle, nothing. It's a Chevette. Only thing I know about Chevettes is when I use them, I have to be very gentle. Feels. Really nice, and it takes the whiskers away. <laughs> uh, 
little bit half tweet, not not heavy, no no, not heavy, but he little bit half tweet. Uh, I don't think it's difficult to find the angle because there is some wedge to it, actually, but. No, feels feels nice. Not so much all the feedback that I'm used to because I use a uh, my extra hollow grind races. Feels really nice. First pass feels like a dream. <laughs> really, really nice. I realize that I at, re at least realize that I, ha I have the ten tendency to uh, not have that angle right. So I wanted to do like this because I want to see, want to feel the blade, but you don't have to keep a low angle and you're going to feel immediately when it's going to cut and uh, <clears throat> took me not a long time actually so but a small time and you actually could feel it different um, angle is very important all the techniques to use straight races and chevettes and so on is almost the same the only thing I think about using chevette is uh, that uh, I have to be much, much more gentle. It's not so forgiving as a <clears throat> straight racer is, in my opinion. But it feels great. Uh, I like it very much. I have big hands. And the only thing is maybe could be a little bit longer here. Uh, so this length would be much easier. But it's no problem. I have, uh, as you saw me, you saw me using the uh, Gold Dollar W59. The, Killer straight razor. <laughs> uh, the same thing there, it's a little bit small, but it works. And this angle thing, if you have too low angle, you can see it skipping uh, or feel it skipping. So it's not difficult for me to find out the angle. Can actually use very small angle. As you can see. And this I'm not so used to use chevettes and different kind of blades. This combination at least, I can tell you, I don't know if this is a short blade or not, or if you can pair to other blades. Feel... Shit, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can mount it. Uh, just the phone, I'm gonna do like this. And I hope it's safe right there. And I hope you are all okay. I get I'm gonna th throw this paper away. Uh, <clears throat> ah, I see if we can manage to keep on this way. Shave. <laughs> but it feels smooth. As I told, I don't, I'm so used to comparing different blades. <laughs> I 
I could stop that easily. I was so impressed with with the uh, Chevettes and when the blade and everything works, they are so damn fucking freaking nice to use. So far, no nicks, nothing. I'm gonna do a third pass. Just because I think I want to be BBS. Um, yeah, a small brush, almost out the ladder, but I think we can do a quick third pass with this amount of ladder too. is wonderful so thank you Mr. Mon and I Harry Wong sorry <laughs> for sending me this Kuna and I Shivete Really nice gentleman. And if someone know who he is, just send him hello and thank you for me. Almost dissipated, or it's almost it, dis it have dissipated, but it works. It's a nice soap. And my daughter is coming home, so the dog start to walk. I think at least. <laughs> Thought I could hear a call. I'm just going to do a quick rinse. It's going to be a little bit longer video today. <clears throat> yeah, what can I say about this beautiful, beautiful racer? Uh, love it very much. I like the colors, bright, bright red uh, plastic, uh, of course, but really beautiful. And nice, uh, it sticks really nice. If there's a screw, so you can screw it or unscrew it if you want, but I don't feel it necessary to do anything with it. Feels great in your hand. The only thing, big hands, small, but shaves like a dream. I love these Dorco blades really, really much. They work really, really well for me. Uh, tell you, it's a BBS shave, for sure. Really nice. Can I finish with John Paul Kiltier La Mail? <coughs> it's a nice cream, really nice cream. It's a big blob <laughs> on my face. For my hands and then a spirit on the face feels great. There's a little bit of scent of, the, of this cream or of the shape cream bomb or whatever it is. I don't remember what it says. Yes. Uh, ah, I can't see. It's an aftershave cream, a bone, at least. No, a bone. <clears throat> I like it very much. I think it's really nice. It takes a little bite to. Hey, touch me! Hey! Could I listen? No, of course not. <laughs> I'm gonna finish with this John Paul Good here, or the Toilette Perfume, or whatever you call it. One squirter, one squirter, one in the back, and one, two here. My hand. And I always rub like this and then take it to my chest. Then I'm gonna smell like, I don't know. I'm gonna smell real nice. <laughs> thank you for watching everybody. This was a different shave. And thank you, I think it's Frank Strunberg or Dave Cole is guilty. I'm, I'm gonna um, figure it out who's the guilty one, but I want to thank you. 
the sender, whoever it is, or the sender is <laughs> Harry Wong, but the, the, the brain behind is uh, Snipe. Um, I'm gonna figure it out someday. And when I know it, who it is, I'm gonna tell you, everybody, who it is. Thank you for watching, everybody, and hope you're all gonna have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. I'm sorry about all these videos I'm, I'm, I have been uploading. I've been several videos this time. Now I feel much, much better. My <laughs> cold is almost gone, so I feel great today. Uh, no coughing, nothing else. So it's going to be a beautiful Friday evening for me. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a great weekend. We shall see you next time, wherever it is. Bye-bye.